Hello peoples, welcome back yet again. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm making a Miami Vice version two. So just recently I made the Miami Vice for the first time on the channel, which is a blend cocktail of a pina colada and strawberry uh, daiquiri combined together in the same glass. It has a cool looking pattern and I wanted to make this version to compare it. Uh, this is a shaken version poured or strained over crushed ice. So a little bit different for those of you who don't have a blender at home and still want to make that drink, you can. And this is kind of like a, a, a fresh version of, well, the other version still had fresh ingredients, uh, but this is uh, just a method using muddled strawberry strawberries as opposed to uh, blended strawberries. So let's get straight into the drink. This one comes from The Broken Shaker. Uh, which is a bar in Miami Beach. Four strawberries into the bottom of the glass. Cut them how you like because you're just going to muddle them anyway. If you had a strawberry puree, that would work quite well as well. Because um, when you muddle strawberries, it's a pain when you're trying to drink it through a straw, unless you pulverize it. Adding just a tiny little bit of simple syrup just to make it easier to muddle. Yeah, if you had a, a puree first, be a lot easier too if you hold the strawberries and take out that white part in the center, uh, which is kind of a little bit harder than the rest of the strawberry. Uh, just give it a good muddle, make it soft and puree-like as you can. I guess if you're making this for a party, then you can just make your own uh, puree, blend up some strawberries with a, a simple syrup, but it doesn't really work when you're only just making the one. You're not gonna have that volume in the, in the blender to be able to blend it. Okay. Gonna set that aside and then shake the rest of my ingredients. So the recipe I'm using featured on punchdrink.com from the Broken Shaker calls for 30 ml one ounce of a light rum. I'm using Dorley's, Dorley's three, an aged rum, Cardi eight. <laughs> 30 ml one ounce, then I was Almost about to make a mistake and use uh, cream of coconut, which is this bad boy that's sitting right here, but it's actually unsweetened coconut cream. So that was a very close call. Otherwise, this would have been quite sweet. Close call. So 30 ml, one ounce unsweetened coconut cream. Good save, cat. And then 37.5, one and a quarter ounce of fresh pineapple juice. 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of simple syrup. I'll link to Crew Supply Co bottles in the description below with a coupon code so you can get 10% off. And don't forget to add a dash of Angostura bitters before adding plenty of ice and giving it a shake for 12 or 15 seconds. Top your glass with crushed ice. Actually, half, two thirds. You can always top it up later. You can double strain if you like, but I don't really, really see any point because you've got all this strawberry pulp in the bottom of the glass anyway. And you're not trying to get rid of those small ice chips in the glass because, in the uh, shake, sorry, because you're straining over pebble ice anyway. So top it with more ice. Stainless steel straw. And garnish with a strawberry fan. Slice your strawberry. And fan it out. So there you have the Broken Shakers version of the Miami Vice. Actually tastes quite, quite milky, quite coconutty. Before we started filming, I was actually saying to my wife that I felt like I'd forgotten lime juice off my my recipe. But in saying that, I haven't mixed the strawberries through. The strawberries will add a little bit of acidity, not a lot though. It's 
I feel like it just needs a, just a touch of acid. Would definitely help if you've got a thicker straw, if you've got a big Surfside sip. Make sure you check out the link in the description below, surfsidesips.com, STB20 for 20% off straws. They do these really big jumbo smoothie straws, which would be perfect for something like this. I need a jumbo straw. Personally, I think it's better with the lime juice. It still works, but it seems like a milkier, more coconutty cocktail without it. This is a little bit more pina colada -y, tropical in my eyes. Kind of looks like Nesquik. Which one is my preferred Miami Vice? I think this is like aiming to be a more refined version. The flavors are more combined, whereas the other version you could sip the pina colada, you could sip the strawberry daiquiri separately, you could mix them all together. You had that, that option in your, in your drink. I think this is good, but it kind of takes away from that, that beachy fun, the, the way it's presented as well. To some, the Miami Vice will seem like a tacky cocktail, which it could be. Um, but I think that's, that's kind of why it's so loved. Uh, the way it's presented, the way it looks, the, the colors and everything, and it's a tropical cocktail. Still a good cocktail. Make sure you try, the, try them both, compare them, and let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.